YouTube, it's Mr. Barks Watt here with a tutorial video. Now this may be one of my first and only tutorial videos, so I'm just putting that out there. So if there are any questions or comments you have after I finish this, then just obviously comment below. Uh, I kind of set up a little setup pad for me to show you what to do. So I'm going to do that, obviously. So first off, um, I'm doing this with two different sources. Now, I'm only doing this because I, I've posted videos about my custom task and my custom SOSs and etc. and etc. But I, people have been asking how I do these kinds of things. Well, it's not my own server. I take it off of source. I think that should have been clear since I put that in the description. But I recently learned that that source that I had stunk and it was out of date. So I got a new one. I got two new ones actually. I took the Toontown Fellowship source and I also took the new TTI source. So I'm going to show a tutorial for one of them. But they both work the same. So I'm going to do it for the Toontown Fellowship source. So. First set up Two Town Fellowship Source. I will leave a link in the description for this. But I already have it downloaded, so double click. Or uh, if you can extract it with WinRAR, 7-Zip, whatever you got to unzip anything. All right. So for this, uh, if this will go away. You get to click Extract to, and then just. You can extract it to anywhere. It does not matter where this is placed. So. And then, after that, you will need, let me show you, Panda 3D 1.9.0. And that must be in C. And, oh, I forgot to mention this at the video, but this is Windows only. Um, I will have a link for this on... Dropbox, but this is because this is a certain Panda 3D that needs to be used for this to work because it will not work with a regular Panda 3D since it does not include Astron and Semibid and etc. So, and then you download, extract it to C, you need it in C. I cannot stress enough on that how many times in the past when I've played this with people that people did not extract this. All right, and then all right, so we got that covered, that covered. Let's just I I know I didn't do it, but let's just say we did. All right, and then Hamaji. This is kind of difficult. I don't have a link on the top of my head, but if you Google unmanaged Hamaji download. Or actually, well, eh, just do that. Now you're going to download unmanaged, the unmanaged version. I, oh, I have to agree. I don't, I don't feel like reading it, so I'll just agree. Now I already have it installed, obviously, and it's up and running. So, um, once you get that running, and you gotta do an installment, and then you open it, opened and um you can go to create a new network now you might need to make an account for this i'm not 100 percent clear on that because i haven't really changed to machi in a really long time so if you do it doesn't matter what the email is it doesn't matter what the password is as long as you don't delete it it will not ask for it again and it can be a completely fake email Alright, so once you got that, create a new network. You can do anything, any password, it doesn't matter. And there you go. Um, so, cover that, cover that, cover that. Alright, so this part is a little challenging. After you download and set up everything, you want to change the IP in the following folders. Okay, I'll, I will explain how to get to that. So, hang on, let's go back here. Alright, so I'll start with Toontown Fellowship Source.
because they eh, no no it's in the same location for both of the sources so you want to go to Toontown Fellowship Source you want to go to SRC Master and then you want to go to Astron so then you want to go to Win32 so you gotta change the IP in AI server you can also change it in here if you're too lazy to make your own server name but it doesn't matter you, ha you have to have it changed in the one you're going to run and then for UberDog, you also have to have your IP done. Here, I'll show you. Here, let's go to Notepad. Let's put you in here. This stuff I was working on it earlier. So right here, you have to have your own... You have to have this IP. Like, it's not your actual IP, but it's... It's the one you use to run the server. <coughs> so you got to put that IP here. You do not change this part or this part. Alright. So you got that cover. Anything else I'm missing? No, just that. So then you go to UberDog's server. And then here, here, let me do the one with no input. I didn't. I changed that one. Never mind. Uh, AI input? I, I changed both of them. I don't have to input AI. I didn't even. I don't even remember doing that. Anyways. So, same thing, UberDog server, same thing, exact. Do not change this. Do not change this. Only change what's here. Now the original IP is uh, something like 127.0.0.1. I'm not sure. But you want to change that number to, you know, this number. Unless you want to join my server, I will I will leave ch extra channels for you guys to join. And I will provide the passwords. Anyways, after you go to that, you can go to config. And then... These are optional. I'm pretty sure these are optional. Oh, one more thing. Um, both of the source I've left downloaded have the Toontown Digitalized theme song and the Toontown Digitalized logo. If you want to use your, the Toontown Fellowship logo you or Toontown Infinite logo, you have to get that on your own and change that in resources. So, this part was actually hard for me to figure out because UberDog would not connect to Astron, so I figured it had to do with something in here. You gotta change every single IP in here. There are a bunch of them and you need to change them. Now, again, don't change this. Do not change this. Only this. Okay? <coughs> and then you got you got these two IPs and then you got this IP and then that this IP down here. and that's four in here and then you want to go to event logger and then you want to change this this one is important again do not change this blah 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 I'm okay so after that to start the server alright I'm going to show it in different one. oh wait no, no first I have to cover localhost <laughs> localhost <laughs> sorry I feel embarrassed for that <laughs> anyways local localhost You'll have a game server here. Now, you want to change this whole thing to your Hamachi IP. So, I already did that. You see, let's say, let's just say this, blah, 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 blah. I just, as I'm recording this, I just realized that my um, recorder does not record my mouse. So, everything I'm highlighting, most of the things I'm highlighting isn't going to be seen. So, you want to change this IP to your Hamachi one, which mine is 25.15.31.31 right, I'm just going to redo everything just in case I just screwed up something so there you go there's that and one last thing okay hang on I'll explain this after I explain how to start the server for Toontown Fellowship you can just do it with one single thing uh, and that's this. I'll show how to set it up with um, Toontown Infinite Source. So you can double click this and then all of them are there for you. So start off with UberDoc. All you gotta do is hit enter. Now this part I'm going to 
add a little bit more information. You can type any name for a server. Let's just do let's do um Osh, uh, I don't, some random name town. There, perfect name. And then for the first server, you can just hit enter here. Now, if you want multiple districts, go to go to Astron, go to Win32, go to Start AI, name any and then name it any other district, some other district, and then you want to change that one right there. You see where it says four zero one zero zero. Uh, you want to change it to two, okay? And then you need the same amount of zeros, so it's six zeros after that. <coughs> and keep going on, and then you got multiple districts. So when I di when I open start game and servers, I mean, um, I don't know how to say it on the spot. Let's see. Server and client, yeah. So picks. Let's do picks for a ser for a username. And then hit enter. So any username will work, but be aware you do not have passwords. So if you're playing this with friends, use a username that they will not suspect. Hang on. Sorry, I just wanted to turn that down. A lot. Let me mute it. Let me mute it. I don't care for the music. So since that was a random username, I'm getting a random tune just to show you guys something. <coughs> Sorry, I got a bad cough. I'm make a tune. Let's make it a boy. A boy. I'm gonna name it Tenbro Pig. If oh wait, do, do I even? I I just realized I probably don't have name approving on it. <laughs> oh. Alright, well, while, while I just screw that up, I'm going to show you something. So, when you're on your account at first, and when you make your tune, after all of that is done, um, you're going to have mod access at pa level of 600. Now, if you want more access to commands, like system, you need to go to Astron, Databases, um, wait, which one, which one? Uh, I think this one. Yeah, it is that one. Astron DB. And you want to go, look, you want to go looking for which one that contains your account. So, in this case, it says account ID picks. So, you want to change that to the maximum level, which is 700. And then you will have the highest power. Okay, okay, let's get rid of you. Alright, so that's that for TTF store. And now for new source, also known as TTI source. You know, let's close all this. If you run multiple astrons, it will not work. So for getting started on <coughs> new source, the setup's the same. You go, but starting it, you can you have to go to Win32. You don't have start servers and clients, so I made a shortcut to get to the other stuff and to get back. So. You go to that, and then the shortcut. So you can do start all, which starts at strong cluster, an Uber dog server. Enter. Enter. Oh, I did. I guess I really didn't show that you can have multiple districts. So I'll do that for this. Now, <coughs> the thing with the TTI source is that um, <coughs> their setup is very, very slow for the. Oh uh, no, it's it's a it's a little bit fat, but it's slower than TTF source. And then let's go back here. Let's go to localhost. Picks. <coughs> no, you got it. But if you want your friends to have access to Ash, oh wait, I guess I didn't put the Toontown Digitalized logo here, so this is normal. Anyway, so if you want your friends to 
be able to play. <coughs> just have them set up. Just have them download the files with your IP and have them in one of your Hamachi channels. Actually, if you're playing alone, you don't have to have a Hamachi channel, you just have to have Hamachi open. But, and if you're also playing with multiple friends, you ha and you want them to have access to, like, system or something, you gotta set their access to 700 as well by finding their file. And let's make you tune and then not name you this time. And also, I'm pretty sure Toontown Fellowship Source has all the things I edited, like the cog damage, the cog move set. So if you want a more legit Toontown Fellowship Source, I can set everyone up with one. Oh, that's only if requested. If you don't care, then that's fine. And so, wait, just give it a second. What was I going to show up? And there's your tune. You're all set up. And you got commands, like run. If you need to know the commands, they are different on both servers. Do the command words, and then you got most of them. There are extra ones, I'm pretty sure. Yes, I want to be polar bear. Yay! I'm a polar bear! So, wait, I wonder if I edited the streets on here. But, there you go, there's your tutorial. And if you need help with anything else, just comment below, and I will be glad to help. So, wait, I just want to confirm something before I finish. Okay, so uh, the Toontown Fellowship source is edited. The Toontown Infinite source, I don't think, is edited. But I tried to add Brutal Factories from Toontown Fellowship into it. So boarding groups might not work. I think they do work. I just can't check at the moment. Oh, I went in here. But Brutal Factories do not work with Toontown Infinite. The, the files are just there. Completely ignore them. Anyways, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit... Be feel free to leave a like. Max tune for swag. And if you want to join my server by any chance, let me know, and I you can totally play with me. I'm testing mine, so just let me know. All right, have a good day, everyone.